Yesterday was World of Mental Health Day. And it was observed in a very special way at Unity Point Health Meritor. A ribbon cutting ceremony was held yesterday for the grand opening of the newly expanded Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Hospital in Madison. The 20,000 square foot expansion at 8102 Wellness Way doubles the footprint of the existing hospital. It includes a bright and open children's wing, quiet alcoves, a yoga and meditation room, a full service kitchen, and additional occupational therapy space. Additionally, and this is the most exciting part, Meritor is introducing outpatient therapy services for the first time in Madison for children and teens who need support but don't require an overnight stay. Meritor's facility is the only inpatient unit of its kind in South Central Wisconsin, and Dr. Kitty Schmidt is the child and adolescent psychiatrist and the medical director of the hospital. Congratulations. Katie, congratulations. Very Thanks. exciting. For people who don't know what exactly what's what, what work goes on there at your hospital? So we're an um, inpatient psychiatric facility for youth in Dane County, and it was, as was mentioned, we're the only uh, service that is provided in this way in the county. And we take care of kids ages 6 to 18 years old who need to come into the hospital to stay for a while. And usually these kids are struggling with safety concerns or behavioral difficulties that we help them through. So what are some of the things that you see in the patients at the hospital? So a lot of the kids that come to us might struggle with aggression or reactivity. Some of the older adolescents might have attempted to take their own lives or they're struggling with significant anxiety. So we support them during that time. Where did they go before this facility? Usually they'll see their outpatient providers and that includes therapy or psychiatry. And when that isn't enough, sometimes they then have to come to us. So what will this expand? mean for families do you think like I, you know, it, we, mentioned, we mentioned it's a beautiful space so yeah. it sort of takes the fear out of going to the hospital yeah. a little bit yeah but what what will it be, uh, enable you guys to do there I think the biggest thing is it will enable us to say yes to more kids. One of the struggles that we've had is we've had a wait list. The majority of the school year, we just don't have the space to serve all of the kids that need the help. So with the expansion of the inpatient service, we'll be able to take more kids into the hospital when they need it so that families won't have to wait at home or they won't have to travel far to get the services that they need. We're also adding outpatient services, as you mentioned, so kids can come to us during the daytime. Maybe they don't need to come stay in the hospital, but they need that more intensive service during the day, so we'll be able to provide that as well. How critical is this service to South Central Wisconsin? It's very critical. There's not many hospitals that provide this care in the whole state, uh, and kids need help when they're not safe, so we need to be able to provide that. Well, you've, you've talked a lot about how if your child had any other illness, they would never be turned away right. from a medical facility. Right. So that really puts in perspective yeah. how significant the need is in the community. Yeah. Uh, when kids aren't safe, their families need them somewhere to be supervised now. So the, the need to wait, it just can't be there. There can't be waiting. Mm -hmm. yeah, the big ribbon cutting last night, we've seen yeah. video of the place. Is it live up, live up to your dreams, the, the, it the entire so building? It is so much more. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's bright, it's warm, it's welcoming. Uh, the spaces are so healing with the color, with the textures. We bring nature into the community, from the community into the building. So it's pretty remarkable. And it's not done yet. Now the no. existing <laughs> facility will be remodeled too, yeah, right? Yeah, it's going to so, get a facelift. <laughs> yep. so, so what will you be doing with the existing um, space? Just, again, making it brighter, making it more welcoming and warm. Um, right now, it just it hasn't been updated in a while, so we, we need to make it more, more welcoming and warm for the families that come. Again, congratulations. Keep Thanks. up the good work. Thank you. It's been a labor of love for a lot of people yeah, and a, a sure. lot of work to get to A lot this of teamwork. Yep. Now it's open. It is. It's all done. Yep. Congratulations. Thank Kate. you.